This week, we have the Downtown Electric Project public meeting, which will be held on Tuesday, March 29th at 5.30. That meeting will be at the Civic Center, so if you're interested in learning about the Downtown Electric Project, we invite you to come down and learn more about the project and provide some critical input to help us make our decisions. Another thing that we are inviting the public to do is submit nominations for exceptional city service. The city is looking for exceptional employees to recognize as part of the Public Service Recognition Week, the first week in May. So if you have experienced exceptional city service from an employee or even a department, please submit a nomination to the city by April 3rd. You can find nomination certificates on our city's website at eldoks.com. So it's storm season, and that means storm shelters may be needed, and so it's important for you to know where our storm shelters are located and when they will be available to the public. Storm shelters are available at City Hall, in the basement, as well as at the Senior Center. Storm shelters, however, will only be available for the public during storm warnings, severe storm warnings. So let's go real quickly over the difference between a warning and a watch. During a severe weather watch, you are watching to see if the conditions are such that you need to take shelter. And during a warning, it means that dangerous weather is imminent and you need to seek shelter immediately. And lastly, I'd like to thank the kindergarten class from Grandview Elementary School for coming to City Commission on Monday. They helped us with the Pledge of Allegiance and provided us with this great poster that tells a little bit about the great things that they enjoy about El Dorado. So you can see on this uh, chart here, there's a number of great things, including the YMCA, pools, the bike and pedestrian path, and even the lake that the kindergarten students at Grandview Elementary School love about El Dorado. And that's what we got this week on Things to Know, what's happening in El Dorado. Have a great weekend.